sauce with arugula and a grapefruit ginger vinaigrette. And we're going to wash it down with an Allentown egg. So sit back, relax, and watch me do my thing. with arugula and we're gonna throw some uh romaine lettuce up in there and we're gonna make a, a grapefruit ginger vinegar i just put this shit together i found some carol syrup remember your mom used to put this in the, your uh, baby bottle water when you was a baby that's why i bite teeth all rotten and shit i think i got a cavity up in there so i i, I gotta go get my shit done my insurance run out at the end of the month so i gotta go um I gotta go down North Philly and find. This is my drink, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all how to make this drink. It's a red drink for Valentine's Day. But, you know, got cotton candy. Let me take a pop of it. Sam must have made this shit. God damn. How much liquor you got here, Sam? The right amount. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> and the shit been sitting in the ice for hours. <laughs> Fuck. Trying to kill me. So how y'all doing? I miss y'all bitches. I yeah, I miss y'all. I miss y'all. How my baby say, hey James, my baby still. That's how much I miss, miss y'all. But I'm back. Y'all bitches see my big ass kitchen. It, it take up half the house. The house is, it slopes one way and then it leans the other way. So it's sort of like when you're skiing. You be like this, and then you lean this way. That's how my house is slow. So I got shit on shims. I got sticks every under everything. So the table, if I ain't had sticks on it, be rocking and shit. So I put shims on it. But so I ended up getting this done. Um, I'm broke. Cause somebody set me up a GoFundMe account. Me and Sam trying to make these wonderful meals. Well, Sam ain't doing shit. But we trying to make these wonderful meals. And we can't do nothing because this is why I got these big pants on. Because I went to the store and they, this was like $3. So I figured if I take them and put them up on this side and put them up on that side, but they ain't look right. So then I took them and rolled them down and they ain't look right. So I told Sam to bring me some of his Alpha Kappa with uh, Q dogs, uh, you know. Slippers or whatever these guys suspenders. So this is this is what it is. So <clears throat> you know, um, I'm gonna give my shout outs. We 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 gonna do the show a whole different way today. We we kind of pushing it because we wanted to get the show back out there. But usually, um, well no, I ain't, I forgot I'm taping. I thought it was a live show. We doing a live show next week. So let me get my shout out. Shout out. And these were my ride or dies. And I'm going to add a couple more names on here. But these was my ride or dies. It was in my inbox. Cookie, you all right? Cookie, you need me to do anything? And I love y'all to death. But you know, bitch been going two and a half years. And it's been a long, hard two and a half years. I don't know what motherfucker. And it probably was ratchet ass Sam that told motherfuckers I was rich, but I ain't rich at all. I'm rich in lips, teeth, and this purple fucking dye. That's the only thing I'm rich in. This shit costs $3. Anything else, I ain't rich in the goddamn thing. Well, I'm supposed to be going to the Essence Festival in uh, July, but since I ain't got no job, I told, uh, uh, you know, uh, Tachina Arnold, what's your name over here? I told her she don't have to pay for my damn trip because Tommy Thomas ain't got no damn job. So, so the trip paid for, but I'm going to have to eat that week. So I'm, you know, I'm going to be looking over there. She only eat tofu, though. This is where our problems are going to come in at. We're going to have to fight. So anybody that's going to be in New Orleans or that live in New Orleans, I'm going to be down there in July at the festival. Feed a bitch, please. As a matter of fact, just, just, just let me get to the kitchen. Give me some food. And I'm a cook for y'all, your mother, your father, your grandmother, grandfather. Hell, I'm roaches, rats. I don't even give you got roaches. I'm going to just swipe them and shit. But I'm going to be broke. Hopefully by then I'll get a million plus views from the three shows. So I'm going to tell you one of the other shows. I mean, I ain't telling y'all about the other one because, you know, I'm be hating, been hating on me the whole damn time. You know, I'm a Christian woman. <laughs> At the cross. <laughs> but... 
What did I just say? Christian spell, huh? Christian spell, huh? He said Christian woman. Yeah, spell Namaste. <laughs> MS. <laughs> she just got the lyric. He's like, you a Christian woman or you Christian's woman? <laughs> Who Christian? Because I need him to come over tonight. Christian, can you call me? I'm a Christian woman. <laughs> What the? Oh, I was going to get my shout outs. Come on, y'all. Y'all know they about to cut my Ritalin about to be cut off at the end of the month, so y'all ain't see shit yet. <laughs> Wait till I can't get my damn prescription. Somebody need to give up a medical motor car. Oh, that's right. I can write my own prescription. My bad. Oh, shit. But anyway, I'm going to get my shout outs. Shout outs to these, these the people that were riding for me in my inbox and all that stuff. Shout out to Tracy Hardman. Hey, Tracy. That's my girl from Baltimore. Shout out to me and Sam cousin Margaret Denson. What's Margaret nickname? I know that show me how walking well people call her Margaret. Oh, uh, Opie. Opie? Yeah. Bitch, bye. <laughs> let me find out you fucking now. Opie, let me find out. I'm about to tell your ass that. Opie. Opie, shout out to Opie. Shout out to Lisa Kaysen. Shout out to my baby daddy. Well, my baby, my step baby daddy. Shout out to James Burton. He's been making sure he flew. I told him my cat ears was bleeding. He said, bitch, I'm flying in. I said, fly on in. And you don't need to bring no condoms when you come. Just come on in. Fly on in this motherfucker. <laughs> and shout out to Dion Williams. Shout out to my bottom bitches for life. They know who they are. They from the D. They down to Detroit. Don't be drinking that water, y'all. I'm going to send y'all a case of one. We ain't got no cases. Well, I'm going to send you a case of Cold 45. That shit ain't 99. Oh, that was in Flint. Huh? That was in Flint. Detroit is in Michigan. Yes. Oh, okay. Flint. Flint. Yeah. If y'all go past Flint, I'm going to be sending you a case of Cold 45. All right. So, I, I know I forgot some people, but these are these are my, my watchers. They've been ride or dying. They've been... And and I and I'm gonna give everybody a shout out as the shows go along. We're gonna do a whole new way to do shout out. We just got a whole new way of do doing everything. But I'm gonna be doing all the damn editing, so we gonna see, cause you know, they figure since I'm unemployed and I don't even get how much six hundred dollars a week in unemployment. Oh Lord, my wine stash is gonna go in. I'm gonna have to drink Taylor's boy. Oh, I forgot your ghetto ass. Some what, Sambuca? <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> Why well, only buy wine under ten dollars? But anyway, what we gonna do? We gonna start. We gonna make our dressing first. I and I had people come on my um YouTube page. Somebody, you talk too much. Bitch, this is a comedy show. You don't like what the fuck going on over here. You know, I'm like Beyonce at the ghetto. Don't let me send my cookie crumbs out. I would be like crumb them, y'all. They be like. Bzz. They be crushing the crumbs and cookies and shit. Don't let me call Cookie Monster. My bra a little bit too small. That's because I ain't got no job and I can't get no better bra and shit. That's my niece in the background. She done, um, you know, I hired, well, I had free jobs and she's saying love is free jobs. I hired some people. So she done got rid of every fucking body. Because she is, her husband's an international businessman, so she handles his accounts and his business. So she just busy everybody the hell out of here. But I got my lawyers in this bitch because they in the bed. They got signs that say yes and no. Yes, <laughs> no. Yes, no. Because they about to help me. And shout out to my little sister, Jean. She been, you know, she she always got the yes, no signs. So she be, you know. Ooh, let me not break this because I might got porn this soon. <laughs> but anyway, what we going to do, we going to make our um, ginger dressing. So what we have is we have some ginger. We have some pieces of red grapefruit. And my niece cut this shit up. You can tell she can't cook. <laughs> Big ass pieces of shit. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a little olive oil in here. We're going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to put some of this Cairo syrup from the ghetto that you put in your baby water. Uh, water, Because instead of him drinking regular water, he like, ain't no taste to it. Y'all put this shit in there. <laughs> then his teeth be all fucked up. So we're going to put about, Sam, do you mind? Miss Dally. We're going to put two tablespoons of Cairo syrup. Dolly Merlino. I know Dolly. You know about this. Miss Dolly, you know, I, I can't mess with Miss Dolly. Miss Dolly, I, I'm going to leave her right where she at. Miss Dolly ain't no joke. You know how your mom used to be like the nut. No, nah, I mean, I mean, Miss Dolly going to be like, bitch, what you say? I'll be chopped up tomorrow night. So I have my garlic. I'm putting it in the, um, I mean garlic. My ginger, I'm putting it in the garlic press. Because it presses all the juice out. That's a little hint for y'all, too. So you take your garlic. Can, can, can we? Oh, I've got the camera's over. And you squeeze it in there. So you only need a little piece. 
And then what I do is take the the resignation. Because, you know, I don't know big words. I'm a mad person. Resident is resignation. Y'all got to give me a shirt. Make sure you write that down. Resignation. We need a shirt to say resignation. So you put the residue on there. You can put in two pieces, but I'm going to do one right now because I know ghetto Sam and used to ginger. So I don't want him to be too, you know. We're going to take some smoke. Uh, paprika. Shouldn't this have been open? This is how you know we ain't been back in a long time. I don't know what the hell is this. We got some smoked paprika, and you're going to take like a teaspoon, and we're going to sprinkle it in there. It's going to give it a nice little taste. And I know y'all can't see this because we ain't got the other cameras up, but we getting it together. We, you know, I, I was trying to make sure the light under the cabinet don't fall and the cabinet don't fall down because we got a lot of shit going on in this house. I was sitting in here one day on a computer and I felt something over this way and I thought it was a presence in the room. So I turned around like, you know how you be like, eh, like you about to turn like that. And I turned and it's the fucking ca the cabinet hanging all the way down here. So I had to grab it and push it up and hold it with the table and I called the guy downstairs to come help me. But you know the black man put it up there. So you know I had to get the right man, call the white man, and he came and put the shit up right. But these Tommy D cabinets, and I had my nephew paint. Shout out to my nephew Day Day. When I he 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 he's sick of me. He's sick of me. He came in, he painted the floors, he painted everything, and I can't get in touch with him because he says she always bitching. But but Day Day, I love you to death though. And, and I'ma give all my the good contractors a shout out throughout the shows. So my nephew name is Damon Martin. Hit him up on Instagram, D-A-M-O-N Martin, because he keep ignoring my ass. But he's a hell of a painter. He painted all this. He painted the floors. And he's very meticulous. As long as he can smoke blunts in your house while he doing this shit, your shit going to be lying the fuck up. Uh, well, he smoke blunts like it ain't that's going out. Shit, hell, Fat Mikey, his brother had me in the car, and the cops about to pull us off, and we... I'm thinking he done smoked blunts and shit, and this motherfucker got bags of blunts in the tra in the in the duffel bag. I said, nigga, if I go to jail and do it, I'ma kill your ass and put you in the attic, whatever else. So anyway, so we got the smoked paprika. We gonna squeeze some. Uh, oh shit! I done dropped this shit in there. I ain't even drunk yet. We gonna squeeze some, squeeze some red or pink grapefruit. Well, red grapefruit in there. I'm going to use two of them. And squeeze the juice in there. So how y'all doing? Y'all miss me? I know y'all bitches miss me. Y'all like, Cookie, you coming back? I said, yeah, as soon as I find a place to live. <laughs> so we're going to put some, what's this? Uh, balsamic vinaigrette. What kind of, what's this dark raspberry? But you can use any berry. Turn my computer down. Who phone is that? That's probably my computer. No, we haven't charged it down yet. Whatever, what? Who phone? Oh, sorry. That's not the end. No more. Hit on Miss, Miss uh, USA. And shit. <laughs> so we're going to put in two uh, tablespoons of. Uh, she crazy. <laughs> my balsamic vinegar. That's my baby, though. All right. Don't forget anything. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to squish it up. And I know a lot of times y'all like cookie. We don't see it, but. I got cameras that I need to set up, but since the three blind electricians put this up, you put something heavy on it, it, it ends up on the table. You know, I had to call Strickland Electric. Shout out to um, Tyree Strickland from Strickland Electric. You know, professional black man who comes out and do your work like it's supposed to be done. Ain't any clean shit up. I even let him in when I ain't home. I be like, you know. You all right, Danny, babe? She all right. She run 15 miles a day. She, she got a white husband. She got to stay in shape. <laughs> Maybe I need to get a white damn husband because I damn sure can't keep no black one. What you say about that, Sam? So say of you. No comment. Don't, get, let me, don't let me throw this vinaigrette at you. So I'm going to taste this vinaigrette. Something missing. Oh, did I put salt and pepper in the last one? Yes. Oh, I'm just going to mix some salt and pepper. All right, so I'm putting some salt and pepper in here. I feel like I'm missing something else. Oh, that's good. All right, so that's my, oh, that thing. So that's my meat. Um, 
slicer that I bought from the thrift store that was $7. I think the whole house is from the thrift store. Only thing don't come from the thrift store is my sofa and my armoire that Sam is trying to steal. <laughs> Touch my damn armoire, Sam. But everything come from the thrift store. I made a bed out of uh, pallets. You know the pallets that come in the um, Home Depot when you getting stuff shipped? Yeah, I made my bedroom out of that. Pallets, pallet bed. It's called, I ain't got no money. All right, that's perfect. So, we're going to push this to the side. Because this is what um, they going to be eating. I'm on the diet. I went to the doctor's and they told me I lost 17 pounds. I flexed on him a little bit. He told me I was looking cute though with my um, purple hair. I was like, well, I said, you trying to take me out of that? He said, no, nah, I just told you you was looking cute. That's all. I was like, oh, okay. Because I do do white men. Especially when I'm unemployed. But, mm -hmm. So, I moved into a neighborhood. And it's called it is University City slash um, Cedar Park West. This is where I moved to. I was over there in the ghetto with the ghetto people. But I decided to like move over here because you know, it's a little bit better. And you know, and this is that's how Jean Daughter talks. She's like, you know, it's a little bit better. And you know, she's like, Cookie, uh, me and my mom's going to name it Mark. Is she going? I said, No, I gotta go to Coles. I'm gonna get money. So what we gonna do? We got some uh, romaine lettuce. You can use uh, any kind of lettuce you want. And we're just going to slice it up to put in with the arugula just to give it, kind of like make a salad, but not really make a salad. So we're going to roll this up and we're going to get the chopping. So what I'm talking about today. So y'all know, I thought I turned that damn thing down. That's my iMac over there. I got that from, um, you know, I go cook for people out of state and... I did some cooking for Thanksgiving one year, and I got an iMac, so, from a... Was it just for cooking? Yeah, no, I ain't had to get my throat, you know, no, 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 because his wife was there. She was watching me like a hawk. She was like, where'd she go to the bathroom? I was like, damn, what's... You know, because he stood this, his balls was this high. He was a basketball player. I was like, what you want me to do, son? So... <laughs> So, um, yeah, I go, you know, I go around and I cook for people. I fly out and I cook. So, you know, I send people out some emails and let them know, bitch ain't got no job. Anybody need any chicken fried or something? They was like, oh, oh bitch, oh, you ain't got no job? I was like, no. I said, I'm doing, you know, extra side dishes, too, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I ain't got no job. But So, that's going to be what I'm going to be doing soon because, you know, times are I can't get no man. And I just need love. I don't need no money. I just need somebody to love me. But Sam keeps on I can't keep no man because why? I'm crazy. Fuck you, Sam. <laughs> but you know what they say about crazy bitches. That's why they keep coming back. They be like, they be like babe, you taking medicine? I'll be like, no. They be like, I'm coming over. I'll be like, all right. And then, so, but I, you know, that's all right, though. I, I got my tarot card reader said I got a. Um, uh, a Capricorn coming in and that's somebody I used to date and the funny thing is I got a uh I got an inbox from the lieutenant of the fire department. I said, oh, oh we gonna start doing this here, boy. We're just doing it up. But he kicked my crazy ass to the crazy <laughs> chair, so but this was years ago. But me and him about to have a baby, I think. I, I can probably get the baby in these pants right now. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do, what we do, what we're going to do, I'm going to come back. We're going to hit the stove. Yeah, and it's the same damn stove from before. I had to bring this bitch over there. They ain't scraping my stove up and shit. But we're going to get over to the stove, and we're going to cook up these um, scallops, okay? Welcome back. These two about to wear me to death. You want to put them on the scallops? Do you want me to put the camera on you? Just put the goddamn camera and follow along. Shit. So this is the dressing we done made. This is my niece, Nika, and Sam and his bullshit. Like, do you want to put the camera? Do you want, do you, are you going to put salt on those? On? If they don't get the fuck out of my face. So what we're going to do, we're going to put some olive oil in the pan. We got the pan hot. 
And we're going to put a half a stick of butter because the butter is going to give it a little taste. You want to make sure you got unsalted butter. Gene, you eating this today or you eating tofu today? <laughs> so we have our scallops. These are sea scallops. We got these from Aldi's for $9.99 because that's all I can afford right now. Shout out to my uh, my cousin Monique. She put me down with them. I, you know, I had about 1,800 bags of them. And I got tired of them. I couldn't eat no more damn scallops. Well, we're going to put some kosher salt on them. Give them a nice little, you know, yummy. And then put some pepper on them. You know when you're from Philly, when you hear people say, yummy. Yeah, yummy. Yeah, yeah, we got our runner in the background. She be running all over there. Tell my cookie, you want to start running? Cookie feet is flat. And cookie just <laughs> fell down the step of the job. And that's why I think I got fired. How you fall on the step and shit and they fire you? Well, did you fire me or you lay me up? They don't know what the fuck they did. Anyway, we got our scallops. And we're going to have the uh, heat up a nice little bit. We don't want to burn the, um, you don't want to burn the butter. Because you're going to have burnt butter scallops. And you make sure the scallops aren't touching each other. Because, you know, it's like folks when they on the bus and they touching you and shit. It's like, you know, you get the skeevies and shit. <laughs> or is that just me? I like, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I got this shit. Don't touch me. So we're going to let them sear up. These Negroes going to be eating today. Somebody was supposed to be at the gym. They like, yeah, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to go work out. Came around here, got about four glasses of wine. <laughs> now they on the floor and shit. Now they drunk. Tell me, you know, I was really going to go work out. Yeah, I know you really were. But it's okay. But I ain't going to put all these in there because I can't pile these up on each other. And I'm putting a little bit more salt on the top because we, uh, see Sam. Come on then, Sam. You remember how to do this shit because you ain't do shit for three damn two and a half years. I told this Negro he need to come learn how to, what's the word, zoom, not zoom in, blockade. What you call it, Gene? Bounce. Bounce. Whatever. He don't even know how to bounce. I bet he can bounce that box up against his lips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to turn this up. We got the, um, put my damn, um, wash cloth. Can I get a cloth? No, not that cloth. That's a good cloth. I need the, the Negro wash cloth. <laughs> the blue one. Oh, yeah. Auto automatically, automatically repaired or whatever the word is. Anyway, how y'all doing? I'm good. What are we talking about today? We're talking about cashier at Target. How you doing? So I'm in Target one day and the guy was saying his teeth was hurting because I must have gave him one of these smile houses and shit. He was like, you know, my teeth hurting and how Target don't give him no benefits. I said, well, you know, I can give you a call. I said, I'm called to the store, leader information or I can give you a call. And, um, you know, I can give you some information you can get your teeth fixed. He gonna say, um, oh, you ain't gotta do all that to get my number. Bitch, you about as feminine as a tampon. Get the hell out of here. I don't want your damn number, especially now with the rotten ass teeth. But I'm about to have rotten teeth too in a couple of days because this shit right here hurting. But I made a doctor's appointment. But one of my girlfriends, when she was, you know, she was a doctor, she was here. I think now she in, um, when you in Zimbabwe or something, she's Nigerian. But she did my mouth in the kitchen. That's why I love having friends as doctors and stuff because I can't practice and shit. But I like to have friends as doctors, lawyers, you know, they daddies, big time entertainment, litigation lawyers, you know, shit like that. So when I need to sue some damn body, I ain't got to pay because I ain't got no money. I'm about to ask MJ for some money. MJ, send you on a check. Yeah. Matter of fact, Kayla, send you on a check. Yeah. But anyway, what we talking about today? Good dick and funerals. Yeah, I had a couple funerals I've been to in the last, uh, you know, two and a half years that I ain't been here. But one friend of mine died, and I'm standing over the coffin, and I'm looking, and I'm standing there, and they like, so, you know, the, 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 the uh, you know, Sabin and them, the freak drawing funeral directors, they want to be like, oh, you all right, babe? You, you okay? You good? You need a look? I'm like, no, dog, but you can get your hand up out my crotch and everything, but, you know, they always try to crack on you. But I'm sitting there, and I'm standing, and I'm like, that's some good dick going down in the ground. What do you do when, it, when you're like, good dick? I mean, just dick, just stroke dick. Just stroke it for an hour and a half dick. 
How you get killed in, in the gambling house? Nigga, you supposed to have been stroking that. I try to get the nigga to, to sell a dick and be a go. I was trying to pay me my head a whole host of old bitches. And I was trying to sell him out. But you want to be in, in, in the poker house and, and get shot. And all that good dick got to go six feet under now. Now, well, then what I supposed to do? And especially since I ain't got no job. What I supposed to do? So, ladies, when you ever had a funeral and you got a man, got some good dick, and I see you, hallelujah, you fall trying to get in the casket. Bitch, I know, because you got some good ass dick. But I know the feeling. Luckily, that wasn't my man, though, because I would have chopped that bitch off at the root, freeze dried it a little bit. Use it on Sunday and Thursday morning. What the goddamn thing is talking? Flip these damn things. Anyway, so somebody in this room was watching porn the other day. I was going to say, <laughs> but I only watch porn on Tuesdays and Fridays when I ain't getting them. So you see that nice sear on them scallops? That's the butter and stuff. But somebody said they was watching porn and they said that the woman was. She probably, what, what's the guy name? Um, not Mr. Marcus. What's his name? Because, you know, I know all the porn stars. I, I know him because of the type of business I do. <laughs> you know, software developer. But, um. Uh, Lexington. Lexington still. What's the other one that ain't got lung cancer? What's his name? He rapping now. You know what I mean. He be he be doing it like this. He be like have his neck and he got the sneakers on. He be like this. <laughs> but it's not. Well, anyway. <laughs> I done forgot what the hell I was saying. They just done lost me and confused me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, one of them was screwing a woman on, on, on Pornhub the other day. And the bitch said, make sure my eyelashes don't come off. <laughs> bitch, if you worrying about eyelashes when you getting good dick by three men like that at one time, you got a damn problem. Because if I had Lexington still, Mr. Mar no, Mr. Martin is the one that got, what he got, so yeah. Wesley Price. That's it. That's my baby daddy. Wesley, Wesley Price be like, for me, he be all up. And I be like, Wesley. No wonder he was having a hard time breathing when he was doing them damn. He found out he had lung cancer. But if you got Wesley Price, and what you Googled it, babe? Make sure your husband don't see that shit. <laughs> He gonna be like, I told you not to be around Cookie. But um, yeah, when you screwing and your eyelashes come on, that means you ain't go to the Russians on 18th Street. That means you went to Miss Nam and them on on Broad and Rockland. <laughs> Even though Nancy on Broad and Rockland, if, when you got an ingrown toenail, you don't need to go to to the to the podiatrist. Go to Broad and Rockland, the Diamond Nails, and ask for Nancy. Something Cookie sent you. That bitch will pop your feet, sand them down with a sander. You know the sander you sand the walls with? She sanded pop. She should have been a, 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 a what do you call them? A opti What's the foot doctor called? I should have been that one for the life. Podiatrist. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and speaking of podiatrist, shout out to my podiatrist, Dr. Zachary. All right. Hey, Dr. Zachy. Dr. Zachy, all right, but Dr. Zachy, I got a bill for a thousand dollars, and you know I got you. You know I got laid off. I ain't got no damn job. So Zachy, I'm I'm I'm, I'm come up there and talk to you because we need to handle this damn bill. This ain't where I can't pay for this damn bill, but I'm gonna send y'all fifteen dollars a month while I'm on unemployment. You know I've been working sixteen years, so you know I at least get to get that for about. I mean I probably get that for a year and a half. I might have to call my aunt up and see if I can get it for two years. We, you know it's always a scam in the hood. You get that shit. You can let that shit linger out. But anyway, we got our scallops nice and seared. And what we going to do, you cook them for a minute and a half on one side, minute and a half on the other side. We're going to take them, put them on some paper, drain them, and we're going to put our whole salad together with the rest of the ingredients. You got that, Sam? All right, y'all, they, um, people got shit to do. They done bullshitted for the last five hours. Now, they gonna tell me to have, no, 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 everybody go. <laughs> at the last minute. Shit. Yeah. Shit. All right, so, I didn't get my ingredients of what I had for uh, my salad. So, I got the arugula and the Tupperware bowl. And I got some, um, 
Romaine lettuce. I cut up some apples that I had from last month. I don't think it's a month or less, two months ago. We got our scallops. We got a close up on the scallops too, y'all. And we got some tomato cherries that I got from Produce Junction. Great tomatoes. What is that? Great tomatoes. I thought I said cherry tomatoes. Those and cherry. Those are great. Those are great. Fuck y'all. <laughs> For me to go. <laughs> this is why I quit the show the first damn time. So I got some grape tomatoes and my niece cut and gutted the grape tomatoes. So we going to think about putting the grape tomatoes in there. So I'm, uh uh, y'all, they hungry. This one over here doing push ups. This one can't stop laughing. Sam trying to go to the container store to get a scoop. I said, let scoop his ass to the dollar store. Oh, that's why y'all got paid Friday. Yeah. Because you know I ain't got no job. <laughs> but she about to get some rice and beans. And all that. Oh, you know I'm going there after next week. Is the yes, no sign up? Yes. No cookie. No cookie. Yes. Oh, you know I'm going. After next week, I'm going to fuck in. Anyway, look at this. When she sit home all day. I'm trying. I'm be going to her goddamn out. And King of Pressure X. They pay six hundred dollars a day for daycare. Shit. I watch the baby for you. I ain't got no job. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you how to cuss. Fuck. <laughs> Mommy, I learned fuck today from my cookie. <laughs> fuck you, Daddy. You're home. All right. So. We got our clear bowl. We got a clear bowl so y'all can see. We're going to put some, um, <laughs> we're going to put our romaine lettuce in there. And we're going to put some apples in there. I'm going to just make a little bit because they think they eating the day. They ain't getting shit. I'm going to put a couple tomatoes in here, like four, five. Some more apples. And I'm going to put my dressing on there. You all right? Huh? Uh, is, is that what you do, Drizzle? Yeah. Yeah, okay. you look like you Drizzle. <laughs> old ass. You about 72 years old. You older than Mr. Bud. Shout out to Mr. Bud. Mr. Bud, they was just reading his shit over here, Mr. Bud. That's why. Mr. Bud, but Mr. Bud, he all that. Blah, blah, blah. He be in there fighting and stuff. Put my damn. Y'all fighting. Put my damn tongues at. Hey, them got burnt up over there. All the tongues at. I can't find shit in this house. One thing I can find is ghost spirits and broken pipes. They called me the other day, um, Cookie, uh, the pipe burst. I said, uh, Cookie ain't got no job. Put a bucket under that bitch. I said, put a bucket under that bitch. I'm going to. All right, so anyway. She don't use what I don't want to use what. They think I wouldn't. Um, that's all right, so I'm going to just use my hands. No, I'm going to use, uh... You told Silas before, so you should be like... <laughs> I'm going to tell you the other shit I told <laughs> You know, I'm a freak joint. I'm a Virgo. I be like... <laughs> balls up, nigga. Hold some balls up. <laughs> Y'all out of control. Y'all got me acting like this in front of my niece. Her aunt is a good, dignified woman. So let me drizzle, drizzle and drip. I need to be drizzled and drip. Where y'all going on y'all leave there? <laughs> Sam going shopping. You going home. Where you going? My baby. I guess I'll be drizzling and dripping by myself. Okay? <laughs> Shit, maybe I go downstairs and clean. All right, so we're going to take our vinaigrette and we're going to put it on our salad. I feel like I need some nuts on here. <laughs> <laughs> Nuts. You know about nuts, don't you? Well, you know, I got some cashew nuts. So we're going to mix this up. You know, you, you you know, my nephew ain't letting your ass over here. No more. You just fire him. He going to be like, uh-uh, I seen that show. Uh-uh, you don't. Mm -mm. Stay away from cookie. Don't nobody want their um, wives and shit around me. My nephews, they be like, no, don't go to Aunt Cookie House. I don't be doing shit. People just love me. Shout out to the Eagles. Speaking of love, I was cooking for one, but they was robbing his ass. I said, dude, look, I done did all this shit back in the day. I got to go now, because they about to set you the fuck up. I ain't gonna have nothing to do with this shit. Like, Damon. No, come on, call Day-Day. 
All right, so we got our salad. I need a plate. This my help fried already. Plate. Get a plate from up here. If anything, at any time in here fall, just act like y'all see it. Just be like, I'm focus this way. My arms got to get. I got to run up the steps some more. So anyway, what I'm going to do? What does that have to do with your arms? Cause they ain't in shape. Cause you know, usually I be like. Don't push us like Jean. Jean over here, don't push. I ain't get to go to the gym. We do two push ups on the floor. 40, thank you. Okay, 40. Okay. All right, so we got our salad. Let me move all this shit out the way. So we got our salad. Am I drunk or what? Like, I'm moving slow. Where's that? My medicine. I need, why well, I the apples in here? Let me get a couple of chairs. Look at it over here. Oh, chick. Yeah, whatever this shit is. This suburban rich people shit is. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take some. Um, why well, I ain't got no tools over here? Somebody fired. I'm going to take some scallops and put it on there. I'm only going to eat two. I'm on a diet. I'm gonna put a little bit more sauce on here. I feel like I need something on here to crunch or something like some butter. Drizzle. Drizzle. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna take a pop. Let me see how this working over here. And like I said, these uh these uh scallops come from Aldi's. They like $9.99 a pack. See scallops. Y'all them my cousin Monique. I need some hot pepper flakes for mine. I like hot pepper flakes. Y'all see all that shit in my cabinet? I'm gonna let y'all look at my cabinet. If they fall, y'all just be like, doo, 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 doo. I'm busy. Shout out to Walton Robert. I think my brother was looking for y'all. General Bozeman. Y'all be up shit's creep. Uh, yes and no, son. Okay. Got the attorneys over here. Anyway. Mm. Mm. Y'all hungry as shit. It's about to cry. Sam, I gotta get this container store. Get a $40 scoop. <laughs> so, you taste sweet, you taste spicy, you taste hot. I had to put hot stuff on mine. You taste the apples. You taste the. Great tomatoes. These booty chips. And it's a good salad. Me personally, I like like a pesto sauce on my um on my scallops. I got some in the refrigerator, that's what I'm gonna finish mine off with. But we done. Welcome back. I love y'all. We missed y'all. Sammy missed him? Yeah. Oh, you just gotta go. Cause that was dry shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I miss him. Come on, I gotta go. I gotta go get my son. That's surprising you got one child. Because you're so over. You old. used to be your former war. <laughs> let me clarify that. Listen, Linda, let me clarify that. There's no proof. Mm. Oh, okay. Anything you say, son. But I'm gonna take one more pot. This scout, y'all wait, y'all y'all wait. I'm I'm <laughs> run up the steps with the plate. <laughs> I'm run up the steps. I'm just good. Y'all try this out again. I use pesto sauce on mine. That's what I'm about to put on mine, but hmm? you want me to drink something? You talk. I can hear you. The recipe for the drink. No, that's gone. Let me and Sam do our show. <laughs> you do Morgan and Fro show. <laughs> shout out to, um, let me give a shout out real quick because I was going. Shout out to um, Jared Pole and Frono's photos. Shout out to Ty Wall. Shout out to, um, what's, his, what's the other guy's name? Steven. Steven. What's his last name? Eckert. Eckert. Shout out to what's, Rose Microphones. 
Shout out to what else I got? What's the pipes? <laughs> y'all gonna mess my rose contract. Shout out to Rose con- uh, microphones. I hope y'all can hear me. I love y'all to death. Thanks for all the equipment and all the other good stuff y'all gave me. I ain't gonna need no job now. Thank y'all very much. So it's time for us to go. Hopefully, I can get a contract with Seagrams. I'm get a contract with. Gel crushed red peppers. This must be from Save a Lot. I can get a contract from Aldi since I done hot y'all since y'all, y'all crazy. Since I done hot y'all scouts. Um, but thanks to Rose, um, I try to look out for some people. But you know, people when they thought it was a conspiracy and shit to take down a black man or the you know the universe. That's what they thought rules, but I was just trying to get everybody paid. But, Sam, you got your check? No, you, you work for free, I forgot. <laughs> you get a check one day soon. <laughs> so, if you're feeling real hungry and you can't find a place, roll over to, I ain't in the hood no more, but roll over to my house and see Cookie Dough <laughs> Face. i holler. Deuces, but I'll be back in the hood soon because I ain't got no job. I can't afford this shit no more. <laughs>